Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, I'm Chief Sweet. Today I'm gonna to talk about keeping bearded dragons and other reptiles near a window. I actually get this from a lot of people when I help them with UVB. A lot of times they're like, well, I've been keeping him near a window, so he's been getting UVB. And I hate to tell you this, no, he has not. Let me explain. Most glass in all houses, everywhere, glass blocks UVB. So if you keep them in a 40 gallon fish tank or a 40 gallon Exoterra Zoomed enclosure and the glass is right there and the screen top and then your window's right there, not only is the window blocking UVB, but even the glass of the enclosure is blocking UVB as well as the screen. Most glass blocks 99% of UVB and that's what you want. That is the most one of the most important things for your beard dragon is you want that UVB so they can synthesize vitamin D and they can absorb calcium and be a healthy bearded dragon. But a lot of people don't even believe me. They're like, well, I feel the heat. It looks good. He loves it. Yes, the bright light your bearded dragon is going to love. It's, they're going to love to see the sun. It's going to be very good. Bearded dragons will be able to feel the warmth off of it. But you do have to be careful. I always tell people this. If you do keep your enclosure near a window, make sure it doesn't overheat the enclosure because sometimes that can happen. The sun comes in. It's beaming through the window. It's getting very hot. It's magnifying that heat. Then it magnifies the enclosure as well. You can we can really overheat your beer dragon and do it this way. So do it safely. Make sure it doesn't get too hot in the tank. If you're not offering UVB and you're keeping them by a window, then he's getting no UVB at all. Also, even if you raise the window up and there's a screen mesh he was probably most likely still not getting UVB, and let me explain. So I have recorded some examples to show you what I mean. Not only that, I'm gonna use a meter, it's called a solar meter. It's gonna read the UVB from the sun, and remember, you want your beard dragon to have at least like a 3.0 minimum to be safe UVB for your beard dragon. Between 3.0 to 8.0, like 7.4 is okay for a beard dragon, so that's what you want with the UVB meter. So I've recorded some examples in my house of the sun and the window, the screen, to show you the difference difference between how much UVB it cuts off with each of those. And remember, this is very important, a lot of people don't know this, but wherever the sun is in the sky, that's how strong UVB is going to be around your house. So say if you live on, your beard dragon is on the left side of the house and the sun is rising, he's going to be getting hit with the sun rays because the sun's going to be coming up and the rays are going to be hitting him. But maybe around midday it's above the house, he's going to be getting no UVB because the sun's above the house and all the rays are coming down like this and he's sitting right there where the sun's not not coming directly at him. You want direct sunlight for your bearded dragon. If you're not getting direct sunlight for your bearded dragon, he's most likely not getting a lot of UVB. Even trees, if your house, you put him by a window and there's a tree, he most likely isn't getting UVB as well. I'm gonna show you this in another example. I went outside, as you can tell, very high UVB. I step under a tree, all UVB is getting blocked by the trees, branches, the leaves. So again, if you if you have a window and it's by a tree, a tree's right above the window and it's block, you know, it's kind of shaded, he's most likely getting no UVB as well. But as you can see right here, the window is open. I'm getting very high UVB on this side of the house. But if I just raise up the meter and it goes where the glass is, I'm getting no UVB at all. So 0 0.1, it's blocking 99% of that. That's what I mean. If you kept the beer dragon right there with the window closed, he's getting nothing. He's getting a visual light and the heat, which isn't bad at all, but he's not getting UVB and that's what you want. I do the same thing with the screen. I pretty much put the screen right there and as you can tell, I'm getting like a 2.5 reading and that's that's a, that's almost getting there, but the screen itself is still blocking a lot of UVB. This is like a bug screen, it's like a very thick screen. So it's not like most of, most of the screen in your enclosures block around like 35 to 65% of UVB. And that's kind of what this one was doing, it's like a 70% block. So that's why it's a little bit lower between like the direct like 8.0 and stuff like that. It's a 2.5, which isn't bad, but again, remember, you want like around a 3.0 to a 4.0 for your bearded dragon. Even if you raise the window up the screens there, the screen's gonna block it. If there's a tree around, it's gonna block it. And if the sun is not directly hitting your dragon from that area, you're most likely not getting a lot of UVB. So that's something I wanna bring up an awareness about because a lot of people think that if they put their dragon right there around the window, he's gonna be getting UVB and they don't have to worry. Most of the time, he's getting absolutely nothing. There's a lot of things that you have to make sure of. Like I said, the sun has to be directly hitting from that angle. There can't be no shade like a tree and all that stuff. You have to make sure the window's up, the screen's up. That's just gonna let in bugs. And in America, it's very important to remember, lightning bugs are toxic to bearded dragons. If they eat one, it can kill them. Again, so you do want a screen, but most of the time, if you're gonna expose your bearded dragon to get UVB from the sun, it has to be direct sunlight. It has to be outside and where the sun's gonna be beaming down right on his back. 
and be aware if you do take him outside, make sure he doesn't run away or make sure it's in an area where he's not gonna tr climb a tree because they could climb very fast and they could run away very fast. Even if you're, oh, my beard dragon's kind of lazy and all that stuff. A lot of times beard dragons are lazy because it's too dark in the room. You take him outside, that sunlight just activates him and there's like, I'm awake and they just take off running. I've seen a lot of people do this and it's, be, it's be very careful doing that. So like I said, once they hit that sunlight, they could really see, because beer dragons live out in the desert. It is extremely bright. It is extremely hot. They are very aware and we take them inside and it's very dark and it just keeps them kind of like a little sleepy. They've evolved for this bright light and we really don't provide bright enough light for them in captivity. So they seem lazy, but it's most of the time it's just they don't have bright enough lights to really wake them up. But you'll know what I'm talking about. If you take your animals outside, any of your reptiles, you take them outside in the sun, they are very, they immediately change. Their behavior changes, they wake up, they're kind of more alert, they get very aggressive sometimes. They're just like, oh my goodness. If you do this, you'll know exactly what I mean. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.